women in the name of God and of the dead generations from which she receives her traditional tradition of nationhood. Ireland through its through us summons her children to her flag and strikes for her freedom. Having organized and trained her manhood through her secret revolutionary organization, the Irish Republican Brotherhood, and through her open military organization, the Irish Volunteers and the Irish Citizen Army, having patiently perfected her discipline, having really resolutely waited for the right moment to reveal itself, she now seizes that moment and supported by her entitled children in America and by gallant allies in Europe, but relying first of all on her own strength, she strikes in full confidence of victory. We declare the right of the people of Ireland to the ownership of Ireland, to the unfettered control of Irish destinies, to be sovereign and indefeasible. The long usurpation of that right by a foreign people and government has not extinguished the right, nor can it ever be extinguished except by the destruction of the Irish people. In every generation, the Irish people have asserted their right to national freedom and sovereignty. Six times during the past 300 years, they have asserted it in arms, standing on their fundamental right and again asserting it in arms in the face of the world. We hereby proclaim the Irish Republic as a sovereign, independent state, and we pledge our lives and the lives of our comrades in arms to the cause of its freedom, its welfare, and its exaltation among the nations. The Irish Republic is entitled to and hereby claim the allegiance of every Irishman and Irish woman. The Republic guarantees religious and civil liberty, equal rights and equal opportunities to all its citizens, and declares to the resolve to pursue the happiness and prosperity of the whole nation and of all its parts, cherishing all of its children and children of the nation equally, and oblivious of the differences carefully fostered by an Indian government which is divided the minority in the past. Until our arms have brought the opportune moment for the establishment of the permanent national government, representing the local people of Ireland and elected by the suffrage of all our men and women, the provisional government hereby constituted will administer the civil and military affairs of the Republic and trust for its people. We place the cause of the Irish Republic under the protection of the Most High God, whose blessing we invoke upon our arms. And we pray that no one who serves that cause will dishonor it by cowardice, inhumanity, or rapine. In this supreme hour, the Irish nation must, by its valor and discipline, and by the readiness of its children to sacrifice themselves for the common good, prove itself worthy of the august destiny to which it is called. Signed on the back of the provisional government, Thomas J. Clark, John McDonald, Thomas McDonough, Patrick Kurtz, Eamon Chiang, James Connolly, and Joseph Clark. Let's hear it for Dr. Carroll. Thank you, Dr. Carroll.